Uh, hello. Um, uh, this is uh, to try and show you how my uh, electronic pantograph works. Um, I've, I've given details on the instructable. Um, I've got a little bit of difficulty showing both my software and the actual pantograph. So I am viewing the uh, actual pantograph. It might be a bit jerky because I'm using a ESP32 to, to view it. But uh, this is uh, the uh, finished pantograph. It's, it's a 2D, so I can copy an image. With, this is this um, this drone, drone block is the work area in which it's the size it will actually work in. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, can we? Right, so basically as it moves around it will give you an XY coordination and it tells you whether it's up or down. And the up or down is you now the switch on the end of the um, the stylus so when I push down on the stylus it will uh, change it to down can we see that Oops. so I liked it way there there we go so it goes down and then if I click again it, it, it goes pen up there we go hopefully you can see that so uh, so basically we can put an image on here and we can then um, plug in via USB uh, that goes to my computer and I've written some software uh, this is my software um, so once we connect you, you just need to set your, your COM port that you connected to set it to uh, 200 and then click connect and then as we move around you can see the the XY coordinates change and it also tells you whether the pen is up now the best mode is the auto mode, so and the, it, we've got a line length here, so basically what this does, it, it creates a line every time you move a millimetre, you can, you can have it on 3, 4, 5, 6, so it only draws a line, that's really coarse, I'll show you that, so what, what we do is, uh, oh and I put it on scale, this scales it up to, up to 3, so we can have it to 0.5, 1 to 1, 1 to 1.5 to 1, 2, 2.5 and 3. So we'll have it on 3, so it draws it quite, it fills the screen. So I've got it on auto mode, so if I, if, I, if the line length is on 6, and we put pen down, and then I sort of move it along, the, 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 you can see the actual lines are quite, quite long. But if we uh, put it down to 1, uh, the line length is only, uh, well, one millimeter is small enough, and the, the accuracy, quite frankly, is 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 only as good as the uh, Arduino. So you can see as we move around now that it gives a bit a much better curved feature. It's not as coarse, but you can see the accuracy there. And then we have a clear button to clear the canvas. So that clears all the canvas. And we have a clear button to clear the data here. This data is what it does. It, as you draw, it, it creates the G-code commands. And you can use these commands on a, a plotter to plot out your results that is on the screen. So I'll just clear that as well. So we'll leave it as one. And uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to put an image on here. So. Let's put this nice little school. Once you put it on there, just make sure it doesn't move. Tape it down. I think I need a bit more tape, actually. Now I'll just put a bit of tape up there as well. So obviously it's not going to draw. Hang on, I'll just clear that. I must have hit the button. Uh, so it's not going to draw with the pen up. So you can move to a place that you. Uh, let's see if we make that a bit bigger. There. 
Hopefully that that will uh, come on to there and click on that. that puts, there we go. That's a bit better. Uh, right. So so if we move it to our starting point, and if I just push down on the stylus, it'll turn it on, and then I just need to carefully follow it around. Uh, I'm not going to be too accurate here because I want to do it quite quick. It doesn't want to be a long video, does it? So. I'm going to trace this as fast as I can without uh, it being too too ugly, well, too inaccurate. So I should have put my other glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Let's move it a bit because the down is going to go over there. Like I say, not a very good steady hand. But anyway, you're getting the idea anyway, aren't you, hopefully. So keep going round. And we'll finish this off. So, whoops. Mouths away there. Right, we'll just do this bit. Up there. Round there. And sort of round there a bit. Back down. Uh, let's finish that bit. So if I press now, it, the pen is up, so when I move it around, it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's go to this point. Pen down, just click again, and then off we go. Round. Yeah, maybe. And I'm old, you see. Steady hand is not what you get when you get on. Go around there. And we go click again, and then we'll go on do the eyebrow oh, up there. Click, and click, and we'll start at the bottom here for the side. Go on the way. Oops, oh, that was a bit of a shape. So, um, Around, yep, and I'll do the nose. And, oops, and I'll get this bit of shadow. And we'll do this eye. Pick a point the way you can remember where you start to finish. And I'll go around the inside. Then we go to the outside. And we go on the end of that. There we go. Let's do these little lines. And let's try the two mouth and what have you. So going round. Stop there. And what we'll do is we'll just do that little line around there, and then we'll do in between the two. And the spinach catches. <laughs> That looks pretty much like uh, what we've done there. And now, what we can uh, we can do is uh, all this data here. You, you can just copy. You can just copy and paste all that. Copy that and then just save it to a file. Um, what I've done is oh, where did I put that? There you go. Right. So so. Um, 
yeah, in, just copy it to a, a standard, uh, just no, into Notepad and copy it down. And then what, you, what it does, it, it does all the G1s and all the G0s. So we scroll down a bit. There, there's a, G, uh, a GO there, look, you see. So a, a GO will let you know where that the pen is, is up and down. You'll have to insert these ones. So you have to insert these commands in. So whatever your plotter actually uses to, for the pen up and the pen down, you, you put either side of the GO. And obviously also you'll need to fill in this, this bit, which initiates your plotter. But the, the main lines and everything is there. And then so once you've created that file, you should be able to send it to a, a, a plotter which I'll, I'll show shortly. Now, so let's just uh, clear that, uh, clear that. Now, I'll just show this line mode. Now, the line mode, I'll clear again. The line mode is, of course, let's say, oh, I can't see that, but basically that, it just says Tim on there. Uh, where are we? Tim, can you see Tim? Yeah, it's just straight lines. Now what you can do is put it in this mode, in line mode. What you have to do is when you want to create a line, you have to do a pen down. So you do a pen down and then you can just move it anywhere you want. But then you do go to the end of the line and you do a pen up and that will draw a straight line for you. So then you can go to another line and do a pen down and then you just go to the end and do a pen up. It draws the next straight line for you. So we can now go to that one, pen down, and then we go to a pen up at the other end, and it'll draw that line. And then we can do the same with the end. So like before, what we would have done is we would just follow that line, but this time you've got to do each line individually. So you do a pen down, and then you do a pen up here, which draws that line. Then you've got to do another pen down for that line and do a pen up and it draws that. So basically you're doing a pen down and a pen up for every line that you want. So we do a pen down and a pen up. And that gives you um, straight lines in between. You can do some large stuff that just have straight lines and you're not creating a lot of G code basically, uh, that's, that's the reason for that. But for general use, just use the auto mode. So uh, that, that is creating um, the uh, your, your copy. Uh, and so what we can do is, like I said, I'll just move the uh, plotter out of the, the pen thing out of the way. Um, this is me, my plotter, and, and what we can do is we can use that G code. Uh, oh, that's I've already done. Look, spoiler alert. So this is clear all. Uh, yeah, so I've got my my plotter set set up set up here, and then you take the G code, and then we can just uh, uh, plot the G code.
There we go. So let's move all the weights. One select. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, so that was that was what I traced, and uh, that's what I, I drew. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, you may find that interesting. Um, uh, like I say, I'm the instructable. Oops, the instructable shows you everything to build on this. A few notes. Uh, I, I've used some um, some uh, some some flat fl flexible flat uh, cabling on here, but it doesn't really matter what cable you use. Um, yeah. Uh, right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>